Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 doo. Subscribe if you're willing. No pressure, but if you did, that'd be great. Anyway, let's do a random ranking today. One of those, and one of those are. One of those is. No, that's the wrong sentence. Basically, what a random ranking is, is when I go to my movie collection behind me, pick out three movies at random. Sometimes I even pick them with my eyes closed. And then I rank those movies from most favorite to least favorite. And if you would like to participate, please do. You can do so in the comments below by ranking these films. And if you'd like to give reasons why, that would be even more great. And then I can pop into those comments and then talk cinema with you. But yeah, let's get to picking these movies. If I have not seen one of the films that I pick, I will replace it. I do have quite a few blind buys because I, I don't know, have plans to see it, I guess. Or maybe I heard good things. I mean, yeah, that's still plans to see it. Let's see. Oh, let's go back here. And, uh, but I have some blind buys that I've had for over 10 years. Like, there's this one called... Samurai Vampire Hunters or something like that. I've wanted to watch for years and I just haven't had the time. It's not that I haven't had the time, I just, I don't know. I keep forgetting about it when I'm like, what should I watch? That one never really comes to mind. But maybe I'll put it in uh, my Halloween countdown list and watch it then. Um, because it's about, it's about vampires. So leading up to Halloween, maybe I'll watch that movie. Anyway, speaking of horror, here we go, 28 weeks later. This is with a nice lenticular. When deciding how to rank this film, should I consider the lenticular image? Will that change my ranking or should it just be the film itself? That will be decided once we see what these other movies are. I do. I thought 28, day, 28 weeks later was okay. I much prefer 28 days later. I think everybody feels the same way. I would like to see 28 months later. I would like to see 28 years later. I would like to see 28 decades later. I'd like to see 28 centuries later. Um, but I don't know if Danny Boyle feels like doing that. I think it would be fantastic though. But yeah, this one I wasn't as into just because of the stalker element that was going on. I prefer the mindless zombie and watching the human race deal with that. But instead, it was human race dealing with that, but we also had an evolution of zombie where, or the infected, where they were, or at least in one case, stalking a family. And, or it was like a, a zombie dad stalking his kids or whatever. Imi stalking his daughter Imogen Poots. I think it was Imogen Poots' little sister or something. I can't remember. Regardless, the stalking I didn't like because it gave them a little too much intelligence and I didn't want that. So it's kind of like Land of the Dead or, yeah, Land of the Dead, maybe even Dawn of the Dead. With the, or is that Land? Or um, what, what is that? Day of the Dead with the, I don't know. Regardless. Land of the Dead, they started wielding weapons and stuff like that, and I was like, I don't know if I like that. <gasps> oh, Point Break? The original Fast and Furious film, um, Keanu Reeves, uh, my wife's, I don't know, probably second favorite man. I'm third or fourth. I think I'm fourth favorite man. If you include, yeah, I think I'm fourth. But I think Keanu's number two. Um, and yeah, this, this movie's great. It's fun. I love Keanu. I love Patrick Swayze. Um, it's, you know, pretty simple film, but it's, it's great. And if you've seen Fast and Furious, you've seen this, but go back and watch the original. Um, they're fun movies to watch back to back. I actually haven't done that, but I've seen, you know, I, 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 I'm familiar with them enough to where when you're watching one, you're thinking about the other because it's like, oh, that matches up. But anyway, good movie. What do we got next? Halloween, Rob Zombie's version. Okay, uh, yeah, I like this, I think. Do I like, I mean, I like it, but do I like it more than the original? Because that's where we go. I, I don't, I like the original more. This one, I think maybe there's just like 
too much backstory that we're seeing rather than hearing about. I think I like hearing about the backstory in the original here. We're maybe seeing a little bit too much. What do you think of the sequel, though? I still haven't watched that. I hear some people say it's awful. I hear some people say it's fantastic and brilliant, um, the Rob Zombie sequel. But, yeah, I like this well enough. I, I think this is good. I like how scary he looks, lumbering, uh, terrifying, all of that. Although, I don't know, his mask doesn't look very good here. I feel like it looks better in the movie than it does on this image. Anyway, how are we going to rank these? Um, I think I know what I'm going to do. You know, the stalker element here really does drop that for me. So I'm going to go Halloween in the middle, and I'm going to go Point Break number one. Point Break, great, fantastic. Uh, it's Fast and Furious on waves instead of on roads. Or you could say Fast and Furious is on roads instead of waves because this came out first. But yeah, check this out. The, the, the president masks... Uh, rob robberies, the, you know, that's classic, all of that. Um, yeah, it's just good stuff here. So, this is my ranking. Point Break, then Rob Zombie's Halloween, then 28 Weeks Later. My question to you is, have you seen these movies? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.